Hi guys, this is Shelly with Team King 24-7 coming back to you with the live demonstration that we, as we had promised on how to find the most searched keywords. And so what you should be seeing is my desktop um, where we're about to go into our Google account that has our AdWords um, account linked to it. So if you're at this screen, if you're in Google or whatever browser you're in, be sure to get to the login for your um, Gmail account or if you're already logged into Gmail, then you're one step ahead of me. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And just basically um, let that load, but I'm going to bring up the next window, the next tab, and we're going to go to Google dot com forward slash adwords a d w o r d s and hit enter now as i mentioned in the previous video it is going to require you to sign in which it should associate with the email account that you're already signed into so we click sign in and it brings us to the sign in screen so i'm going to click sign in again And it's taking a minute to load but what it should do is bring us up to the home page for Google Google AdWords all right so this is the home page of Google AdWords um, and like I said before we'll venture into pay-per-click ads but basically this will be the home screen where you will get started but what we're going to do is click on the tools menu and go to keyword planner and that'll take a minute to load All right, and so we're on the search window for the keyword planner. And right here where it says find new keywords and you have the option of search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. You're gonna click in that box and it'll drop down the search window for what you want to search on. So let's use, for example, the term get leads. So we're going to type that in in the box and also if you know a website like one of your competitor websites and you want to see what keywords they're using to be able to um, piggyback on those keywords so that your website will come up in those search results if you know the website address in this box here where it says your landing page you can put their website in um, in that box and what it will do is give you a list of all the keywords that that website uses to draw traffic to their website so that's another um, kind of sneaky tip that you can use to try to uh, piggyback on those same keywords and you can also see how much they're paying for ads to run on those particular keywords but we're going to stick to the free stuff so again we're going back to the top under your product or service and we're looking for keywords that reference get lead so we're going to click on get ideas and it's going to go out and search for all phrases and keywords associated with get leads and so as the page loads you'll see that it'll give you several different um, search results it'll give you the trend for over like a, a quarter a period or from last year to this year what that word or phrase did is search results um, per month for over a year's time and then this first tab right here where it says ad group ideas this is based on ad campaigns that use this particular keyword phrase and it's giving you suggestions on how you can um, set up your ads to get the most visibility or to come up in the most um, popular search results but again we're going to the free stuff so we're going to click on keyword ideas tab okay so it loads and what you'll see is right here in this box will give you the organic search results 
for that phrase in particular and you'll see for get leads the average monthly searches is 260 and that phrase has high competition and if you were to run an ad against um, for using this phrase the average bid to even appear in the search results now that doesn't guarantee that you will appear on page one but to get in the search results uh, it will cost you roughly about $21.40 per click. Yes, no, we don't want to do that. So at this point, what we typically do is we click on the competition column because we want to sort it in order from high to medium to low. And then we're going to show you the trick that we use at the end to be able to come up in the search results. But, uh, not compete with the high competition so okay we've already sorted everything in category based on competition and you see everything is going from highest to low well we're going to reverse that order and go from low to high so we're going to click that box again to change the direction of the arrow to point up and so now we're seeing the low competition keywords now you might be thinking low I don't want low because nobody my search results won't come up in anybody's um, search results or your keywords won't come up in somebody's search results well that's not necessarily true because the key with choosing low competition keywords you want to look for those that are in the 500 to over a thousand monthly searches those are the keywords that you want to target on like this keyword right here how to get referrals it gets over 880 searches per month and it's considered low competition when it comes to titles for your blog posts or your video uh, titles this will be a good uh, phrase to use within your title because that means it will still come up in the search results but you won't be competing for that competition because the competition for that keyword phrase is low and then again here is cost per lead that gets 1600 uh, searches per month and it's considered low competition so you want to scroll through this until you get to where it changes over from low to medium and you want to look for those keywords now when like I mentioned before when you're looking for your keywords you want to choose from the low competition when it comes to your title and um, for your video or your blog post however when it comes to writing your blog posts and uh, you can embed the medium and the high competition keywords within the mixture of your contents just don't use them within the title of your content because again you want to be sure that your search results your uh, content comes up in your audience's search results and you you can finagle it how you want but we've seen to find that that works for us in our content is still discovered without competing with the competition from those that you know have the marketing budget to really put that money out and make sure that their ads are getting noticed and appearing in page one of Google search results and so at this point you can either jot down um, handwrite on a piece of paper or you can export it to Excel you can download it from this button right here you can click that and choose Excel CSV file and it'll save it down to your hard drive of your computer and then you can go back and open it up in an Excel file um, so you can look at the results and pick out which word keyword you want to use or what I typically do is just open a notepad on my laptop desktop and just do jot down the words or the keyword phrases that have a significant amount of cert monthly search results but it's still considered low competition and I'll just use those particular keywords for my content or my title and if I'm going to get into a blog post then I'll do the download so that I can easily access those keywords that um, have a more high volume in competition so that is pretty much it 
this is how we do our keyword research and so far it has been working for us we are open to um, your suggestions if you know of another way or a way where this can be tweaked so that we get better responses on our content we welcome that be sure to like comment or subscribe um, below on this video and again we invite you to take a look at that link that will follow this video or that may appear in the description box below to join us on the inside we are being trained by six and seven figure earners on how to market our business build our brand and also get leads and additionally um, we have access to free tools within this group on being able to use these marketing tools that are costing others um, a pretty pretty big fortune so if you're interested in learning more about what the group is all about click that link and get more information or inbox us individually on Facebook and we'll be sure to uh, get in touch with you and provide that ind additional information that you're looking for until next time this is Shelly with Team King telling you to stay in it to win it have a great day